Hi there. We officially start to introduce SafeCAD, the software for fab laser carting machines. I will cut it into sections to show you the complete operation. SafeCAD is updated fast. It's possible that the version you are using is different from the one shown in the video, but please don't worry. The functions are basically the same. After starting up the software, we can see that it's mainly divided into several bars. On the right, processing control bar. Above and on the left is a graphics processing bar. I will introduce the basic functions one by one in details. Let's begin with the file. The drop-down menu of file in the upper left corner contains that we can create a new file and we can open the previously saved file. We can save the graphic as a DXF format compatible to CAD. We can also import a graphic from the third party software. The nesting function here is different from here. It's mainly used to import the external nesting files and the standard parts from the built in library of SafeCAD. Later, we'll show the nest function in details. We have a report here which is mainly divided into a task report and a nest report. The task report allows us to estimate the processing time of the current graphics, the total length of the cutting and empty movement, and it will generate a report that we can print out. Let's see a template of the printed report. The user sighting. We can see the user parameter sighting, which contains two measures. One is the optimization. When we import the graphics from an external software, we'll automatically perform the graphics optimized processing, including removal of very small graphics and duplicates, smoothing and sorting the imported graphics, the sighting of the imported unit. If it's in groups from the CAD, we can set to explode the group. A text can be converted into a curve or ignore the test. It also enables to map a DXF layer. We have some basic settings on the drawing board, mainly for some usage habits. We can set the background of the layer like whether there should be coordination at the left bottom, the grease, colors, and fonts options. Backup will help us to store the platform configuration tool, PLC, and global parameters into one file. Normally, each manufacturer will have a backup parameter package in the PC. And we also stress to make the backup regularly against any accident. The diagnosis includes card monitor, extended I.O. monitor, gas DA correction, BCS 100 monitor, burning test. Under the card monitor, we can perform a single pulse test. Here, I will send a thousand pulses to the x-axis and there will be an encoder feedback. It can be used to check whether the encoder feedback is normal. Lower part is for signal detection of heart limits. The right side is the output parts. There are some input parts. Here we can also see some of the signals we have previously configured in the platform configuration tool. Extended I.O. monitor is an external function. Let's imagine that we are using a SafeCAD 1000 system with an autofocus cutting head. We need to add an extension part to enable the function of the autofocus. Or let's say the size of our machine table is very large. When the output parts for partition dust removal are not enough, extended I.O. parts will be required. 
I'm running in demo, so it doesn't allow me to enter the gas day correction. Here is a picture. Yours will be kind of like this. Guys, DA correction is the gas pressure valve calibration, kind of non-essential function. It needs to be set by the output value of the cutting head, and it also needs to be corrected by a flow meter. When there is a deviation between the gas pressure and the output value, for example, set to one, when the actual output is 0.8, the deviation needs to be adjusted. A few cutting heads have special inspections like the gas de correction, such as Presetec. PCS 100 monitor. The option here is generally not used. We can go to the CNC to find more functions of the BCS 100. Another function here is burning test. Normally, it will be done in manufacturing. After the machine is finished installation, each part needs time to running and age for a period, which enables the whole machine getting better in operation. So probably it will not be useful for customers when they receive the machines. Here about SEPCAD, we can find the SEPCAD model, version, and expire time. On the left side, we can quickly generate some graphics, such as a straight line, plain polyline, a circle, rectangle, a star, some simple words, and we also support importing a standard part. After we set the parameters, we can generate a stem part. A few functions here. One is to center the graphics. We can see the circle and the rectangle are in center now. We can run the corners. We can see the entire graphic have been run it. We can also explode the graphic. Here, the four functions will be the same as here. We'll talk them later. The upper position of the left set bar. The first is for selection. The second is for not editing. Clicking it, the graphic will be marked by knots. Not editing is used to optimize processing of some graphics, such as some like this kind of gap. The automatic optimization may not handle very well. We can artificially optimize it by not editing. The third one is manual sorting. Sometimes we're not satisfied with the automatic sorting. We can choose it and then click the graphics one by one to sort. The fourth is the panning view. Last one is zoom the targeted window. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.